Hello guys, since the start of Russian war in Ukraine, we have utilized six Russian generals, a hundred of Russian colonels and many more Russian officers. Invaders always have a choice. They can return back to Russia and continue living or not. And today, in the result of a very accurate HIMAR strike, a group of Russian FSB officers was also utilized in Skadovsk. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight informational war. And my longtime friends, please check your subscription status and hit notification button. So, a very important thing happened today in temporarily occupied Skadovsk and I will try to explain you from the ordinary Ukrainian perspective why it is important. Well, first of all, what is FSB? FSB is a very Russian structure that possesses all the qualities needed for the authoritarian country too, and Putin himself was an officer of the FSB. It continues the traditions of Soviet KGB and is supposed to be responsible for the defense and counter-terrorist activities, but in reality does the country organizes terrorist attacks on the countries like Ukraine and also commits a lot of war crimes, torturing and executing civilians. FSB officers often come on temporarily occupied territories second after Russian army to safeguard the remaining um, representatives of new pro-Russian governments and other stuff. What they do, they try to erase Ukrainian civilians, they try to erase Ukrainian schools and everything. And that is another reminder why it is so important to return every piece of Ukrainian territory, because it is not just the land, it's people and their lives. FSB officers committed a lot of war crimes on temporarily occupied territories, for example, in Kherson. And Ukrainian soldiers who come to these territories when liberating them sometimes are devastated with what they see. Mass graves, execution lists, tortures that people went through. And once again, as a Ukrainian, I am obliged to highlight that it is not just about the territories, it's about the people. We cannot negotiate their life and you cannot imagine how much they weight their liberation on the territories that are still under Russian control, but very soon will return back. And you see lots and lots and lots of signs of that. And this HIMAR strike is another proof. So, in temporarily occupied Skadovsk, there was a group of FSB officers that were working there and working from there, controlling, um, terrorizing Ukrainian civilians around, in the area around. And you have to understand that there are lots of partisan movements inside uh, this territory that is temporarily occupied and they provide Ukrainian army with very important knowledge about who is there, what are they doing and so on. And I think that in the result of such informational work that is very, very dangerous at the same time, Ukrainian armed forces received information about the location of this FSB office and were able to use HIMARS to destroy both the office and the officers. So this is one more proof that when Ukrainians receive weapons they need, they are able to perform very accurate and very important operations, thus destroying FSB infrastructure on temporarily occupied territories. So what may seem as an ordinary event during war, which is like said that the world is getting used to Russian war in Ukraine, but anyway, it may seem like just a group of officers killed somewhere on temporarily occupied territory. But it actually proves a number of very important facts to us. Number one, well, fewer FSB officers on the temporarily occupied territories and weaker network of these orcs, I'm sorry. Uh, second, there are strong partisan movements on temporarily occupied territories that are helping Ukrainian armed forces and that are working hard to um, 
return these territories back to Ukraine. Remember to subscribe if you support liberation of all Ukrainian territories. And also a proof that Ukrainian army is very effective using the weapons that allies provide it with. And the more long-range missiles, the more effective systems we have, and when we finally receive F-16s, I'm sure you will feel the difference. Because even with this little supply, we are able to demonstrate really good and effective counter-offensive. And we are very grateful for this possibility and opportunity, which is once again a proof that we don't need to slow the war down. This is what Russia wants. Russia wants to turn it into exhaustion war when like everyone will be tired of supporting Ukraine and there will be no Ukrainian soldiers left more because Russians are ready to sacrifice thousands. We don't need that. We have everything, our effort, our morale, our zeal, our skills, our knowledge and existential need to finish Putin's regime and to win this war because peace is only possible after Ukrainian victory. And strikes like this one in Skadovsk that led to utilization of many of Russian FSB officers is another proof. Help us, trust us, and together we will win. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons. Subscribe to my Instagram threads and Twitter. Join my Discord community and do check our new Christmas collection in the merch shop. All the links that you need will be below this video. And once again, thank you for standing with Ukraine. Together we will win. Slava Ukraini!